All right, guys, so basically, you hopefully have a lot of this done. Um, I am recording right now, FYI. Uh, I don't know if I use this footage just for the first go around of this. Sometimes the first time I nail it, sometimes the first time I don't nail it. So, um, you know, just see how that goes. So basically, what we need to do is, we're, I'm going to give you the answers so you can check some of your work here, okay? Is it frozen? It's still frozen, okay? And so, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this, all right? So a vector quantity, a vector is a measurement that has magnitude, size, and direction. So examples are velocity and acceleration. Both of those are vectors. You've got to have a direction, all right? Speed, do you have to have a direction? No. No. Okay? Because it doesn't go negative miles per hour. You guys with me? Mm-hmm. And you put it in reverse, it doesn't go negative miles per hour. So, three ways to change your velocity per unit of time. How to change your velocity. Speed up, slow down, common sense, right? Turning. When I'm turning, I'm not changing my speed necessarily, even if you keep a constant speed. But when I'm turning, I'm changing my direction. Does that make sense? So I'm going like this at 75 miles an hour. Come on in. Well, okay, good. Have a seat. <laughs> Say hi to the camera. <laughs> uh, you're fine. Uh, I can edit that out. I won't. But uh, now, if I'm going 75 miles an hour, right? I'm going in a certain. I'm going to change my. Um, I'm going to change my velocity by turning. Right? I'm still going the same speed, but now I'm going at a different direction. That's a that's a change. Everybody okay with that? Yeah. Right? Good. Mm-hmm. All right. Can I go on the next slide? Yeah. yeah. This is all in your book. Now, this is a little confusing. There's negative acceleration, there's positive acceleration. A lot of you guys have heard the term deceleration. We're not going to use that in physics. It's either positive acceleration or negative acceleration. Deceleration is a synonym to negative acceleration. However, we're going to use the term negative. Occurs when an object accelerates in a negative direction. Okay? Does not always mean slowing down. How could I have a negative acceleration but be speeding up? Caesar. Going backwards. Yes. Falling down. It's kind of. Remember the it's now. Remember the you remember the uh, backwards. running backwards? Yes, exactly. Going to your starting point. Everybody's saying the exact same thing and everybody's right. Everybody's good. No, you're good. You're good. Everybody's right. Check it out. Remember when this thing was shooting out and I walked away from it? It was a positive slope, right? And then when I walked backwards, what was it? A negative slope or walked towards it. So anytime you're going towards something, towards the sensor, I could be sprinting at it, right? I could be doing this. I could be sprinting at it, and then I'm going to have a negative acceleration. It's been funny if I fell, right? Uh, what's the rule if I fall? You, 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 you laugh. No, you make sure I'm okay, then you laugh. Uh-huh. Make sure I'm not bleeding, then you laugh. I mean, you can laugh at the same time to help you out. Just lay it on someone else. Like, Mask first, okay. That'd be messed up. You're bleeding. Dummy. You shouldn't be following. All right. Do not condone that language. All right, so. Dummy is not a bad word. Anyway. Positive acceleration occurs when objects accelerate in the positive direction. Does not always mean speeding up. Okay, so um, basically, if I'm if I'm moving away from an object, it doesn't always necessarily have to mean speeding up. You're just moving away from the um, you're moving away from the sensor. All right. So if I drop something, right? If I'm measuring it from where I dropped it, or if I'm measuring it on the floor, right? If the floor is the measurement, is it going towards it? Yeah. Yes. So that's going to be. Negative. negative acceleration is going towards it, right? Yeah. And, and it's going to be speeding up, it's going negative. Do you guys follow me? Yeah. It's all about going towards it. Does that make sense? I know, it's kind of, just, just all the way I remember it, it's just like, if you're walking towards the sensor, you're losing ground, so it's going to be negative. If I'm walking away from the sensor, I'm gaining ground, it's going to be positive. Does that make sense? A little bit more sense? Good question. I just said, now, Equations. Hope you guys have these written down. I'm going to write them down a different way. Same idea, right? So, A equals delta V 
over delta t. Everybody's okay, that's the same thing as up there, right? Yeah. What does delta mean? Change. Change, right? So if you did not know this, a equals v sub f minus v sub i over the total time. What does these stand for? Anybody know? What? What do these little subscripts stand for? V, I'm sorry, the F and the I. The I stands for? Sort of. They, they stand for something. Fun. When you cross the finish line, you're done, right? Yes. So you may want to write this down then, guys. Oh. This is final. And initial. And initial. Uh-oh. Uh. I, I. Chill. Initial. Inchel. <laughs> Inchel. Crap, this is recording too. Uh, <laughs> is that right? No. Are you serious? Until yeah. I before the A. And into uh, the and the, okay. And you the I'm definitely and editing that idiot. I can't have someone like an idiot on YouTube. You guys by the part. Oh, but you're gonna let Alberto look like one? He did look like an idiot. No, he did not. <laughs> that laugh was recorded. I'm happy about that moment. That's uh, <laughs> okay. well, crazy as my laugh. All right, so does everybody understand this now? Yes, sir. So if I final initial, most of the time you start with velocity, you start at zero, right? So it's an easy calculation. 60 minus zero, right? Zero to 60, how fast does it take you to get there, right? That's your acceleration. You guys with me on that? We'll look into sports cars and their acceleration. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, some of hot wheel acceleration, son. All right, so pretty good. Now, does everybody understand how this is the same thing? Yes. Hot wheels. You got to know that acceleration is in meters per second squared. Was that in the quiz? Yeah. Yes, it was. Was that on the bell ringer today? Yes, it was. Right. Now we can rearrange algebraically for this too, right? Yeah, I can solve for V, I can solve for T, if I have A. Oh, yeah. Right? I can plug and chug, I can rearrange. Right? Yeah. Nobody scared? Okay. So now what I'd like you to do is, so if a car, take a look at this, if a car is traveling uh, from 10 meters per second to 15 meters per second in two seconds, what's the uh, car's acceleration? What's my final? 15, right? What is my initial? Ten. Ten, right? How much time did it transpire? Two. Two, right? That's your answer for the uh, that acceleration. Oh. Right? Follow me? Good, somebody had a light bulb click it on. That's good. And it up just then. All right, so, everybody good? Yeah. Yeah. All right, now, <laughs> what I'd like you guys to do, and why you guys drew some nice graphs, I would like you guys at this moment in time, if your books are open, there is a nice, awesome picture here. I'd like you to bust out your phones and take a picture of that. Page 64, take a picture of that. Oh, flip that over and make it green. Thank you, Francisco. You have to wait. So take a good picture of it, all right? Make sure it's a good quality and it's a great thing to review. And then you can write in your notes, see picture on my phone. Right? This is a great review. Okay? You ain't trying to waste that storage. See, anybody that storage? You got a cram full? Yeah, it starts messing with your operating system if it gets so close to the maximum. No. No, no, right? Um, your app seed a lot of it up, too. Right? You tell me. Yeah, it does. It gets your breakdown. pictures Most of my pictures You should delete them after a while, right? Yeah. Or download them onto a computer, or to a cloud, or to a Google service, like you have a Gmail account. Yeah, but it's all long term, so I don't understand. I will I'll edit that out too. Uh, so I have different accounts. Okay. You got a ghost account. Like Mama don't see account. Your deep web account. Your deep web account. All right. Hey, it's like this is gonna be a daily thing. Like we're gonna be sick about talking about the deep web and like uh, by halfway through the year, right? Deep web. I don't even know about that. All right. What does the velocity versus time graph give you? 
Acceleration. 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 Bell ringer. Is that readable? All right. Go Facebook right now. I see you to Facebook. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Thank you. Good, 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 good. All right, you guys ready? We're going back to our physics toolbox. Toolbox. Kind of jacked up right now. Okay. Okay. All right. We have three equations right now. Three. Three. The ruler drop equation, the average speed equation, the acceleration equation. Yeah. So write that down. This is the acceleration equation. That should make sense because acceleration is velocity over time. Remember that graph we looked at? Velocity over time. And if you don't, if you want to be more detailed, you can say, hey, this is uh, final minus initial, right? Well, the time would be the same thing too, final minus initial, right? But most of the time we just say, hey, it took six seconds to go um, zero to 60. V is for velocity. V is for velocity, velocity. Yes. Okay. It's painful. I watch myself sometimes uh, teach, and it's painful to watch. <laughs> like, you ever watch yourself do a presentation? Yes. Awful. Right? Yeah, no, right? Like, I sound like that? Yeah. I'm telling myself that the recorder changes my voice to so something annoying on the, on there. <laughs> on the YouTubes. Derek.smith.j at gmail. I'll keep mine private so GPS can't steal all my all my now all the stuff I've created. Yeah. So no one can watch it. No, they can watch it. You can watch it. But I'm so busy. I don't want to get into this. Uh, but all right, what I'd like you guys to do. There is we we got we got we didn't get to. We stopped to compare notes. Okay, so what I'd like you guys to do is to do the exit ticket and then you can leave. Knowledge check. Knowledge check. It is on my website. And it's under knowledge check. And it's under today's knowledge check. I try to make it very simple for you guys. I hope I'm making it simple. I'm calling them knowledge checks now, though. It's on my website. What? Acceleration problem. Yes, ma'am. That wasn't terrible.